Like, y'all, just look how much length that is. We are going to be trying the Mish Beauty hair products. So let's get into these products because, babe. <laughs> If you know, you know. Like, my shrinkage really be so disrespectful. Beautiful painter. I love the way you painted the sky tonight. Beautiful savior. Come have your way in me, you my one desire. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and in today's video, we're going to be trying something fun. We are going to be attempting to stretch my wash and go using the Rev Air. That thing has literally been sitting in my closet since I posted my initial review on it because I told y'all I wasn't a fan. Um, if you want to know why I wasn't a fan of it, check out that video. But I have a sneaky, sneaky suspicion I'm going to like it for the purpose of stretching this wash and go. So we're gonna see. But also today, we are gonna be trying the Mish Beauty hair products. Y'all been asking me nonstop to review these products, especially the mousse, since I started doing wash and goes on my channel. So it took me a while to get them and then I had to do other stuff, but. <laughs> so we're finally gonna be testing these out today. All right guys, so before I get started, make sure if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Click the subscribe button, put your notifications on so you don't miss any uploads. Follow me on TikTok and Instagram for daily content and check out my hair care line if you're interested if you're interested in getting some products to help promote growth, that intro thing is so long, but I'm just used to saying it now, so I cannot stop it. All right, guys, let's get into it. I have just rinsed out my deep conditioner. If you guys do not know, you can watch my previous video with this wash day. Oh, my goodness. Okay, I, I was telling y'all to go watch the previous video because I talked about how I was trying my new deep conditioners. I got some samples from my manufacturer uh literally yesterday and so i had three different samples that i tried i'm a little shooketh right now i promise y'all not being biased or anything my hair has never felt so soft this hair can line's about to eat y'all so excited y'all there's so many products in the works that are gonna be out in the next couple months y'all gonna be like girl you put your foot in this okay but anyway that's not what this video is about so i <laughs> just finished washing my hair um have my deep conditioner uh rinsed out so let's get into this wash and go all right so first gonna section off my hair i'm debating about whether to do a side part i do the back first anyway so i'm just gonna think about it while we work on the back and then we'll see i think it just depends on these products i feel like the top like middle section right here is the hardest to do in a wash and go because with the shingling that i have to do and i'm running out of clips that's fantastic. Do I want to get up? Oh, I have to get up. I only have one left. All right, I bought you a little bit closer. So let me part off my first little section. My hair feels so soft. Dang. Okay. So let's start with just a baby section just to kind of see what we're working with. Spray bottle first thing. Let's go ahead and just drench my hair in water. I have my towel here. Then, you know, we have to go in with my hydrating hair butter, which is officially restocked. About that much, not too much. I actually have to find my other container because I'm almost out of that jar, but I've had it since September, so it does last a long time if you're using the right amount. Definition, don't play. Okay, now the mousse. Now this is the product that everybody had been wanting me to try because this mousse has been really popular on TikTok. It's a gel to foam styling mousse um so it's supposed to really define your hair and also set your hair so that um it doesn't move i watched a couple videos i honestly i honestly have no clue how it's gonna work so i just small amount let's just try it okay i'm not gonna lie the definition just from the mousse is kind of insane I would say that this gives me way more definition than the texture foam mousse just by itself. But I can already tell you off the bat, I wouldn't just be able to use this mousse. As you can see, all that frizz right there. Like, it's for just it being a mousse, it's pretty defined. But knowing my hair, this is not going to dry defined. It's going to dry poofy. I'm glad I bought the gel because I need something that's going to hold. So this is a curl defining gel. It's supposed to have a strong, firm hold. So, let's see what this looks like. Also, I'm kind of concerned. Oh, I can't open it. Because this is only 8 ounces. 
and that's not something that I think I'm gonna be able to do. Oh, it smells really nice. It smells like lotion. Okay. I don't. Oh, this might work. Let's see. Let me grab a bit. Let me apply it. Hold up. Okay. Wait a minute. Oh, okay. It this eats. Oh my goodness. One second. Let me do a little shingle. Okay, this kind of ate a little bit. I mean, the curls are defined for sure. I don't know though. I don't know what to think. This gel was expensive. This gel was like 20 something dollars. So hopefully I only use about half the jar, but we'll see. But that looks really good, y'all. Okay, I'm just gonna continue to apply this on my hair and um, I'll just play the clips and be quiet and then I'm just gonna, um, and then I'll come back and talk whenever I'm done. Y'all say y'all like a combination of voiceovers and me shutting up, so that's what we gonna do. Okay guys, so I am all done. 
uh, I decided to do a little side part. Um, I'm actually going to tie down my edges when I'm done filming this because I want this to stay. Um, but I am I think the side part is going to turn out really well. I'm pretty excited. Alright, so let's get into these products because, babe. <laughs> so, the reason why everybody wanted me to try it, like I said earlier, was because of this mousse. This mousse went really viral on TikTok. When I said I was going to start doing wash and goes, everybody and their mama was asking me to try this. And so, this is what I was excited about. But... I think people are sleeping on this gel. If y'all could tell, like, when I was doing my hair, normally I had to take each curl and shingle it. The curls naturally just clump by themselves. I really didn't shingle. Like, my curls clumped really well and instantly the second I put this gel on. And I like the texture. I like the consistency. They smell really good. They smell, honestly, like body care products, which I thought was interesting. Like, it's a really nice smell. But it doesn't smell like your typical hair product. But I like that. But y'all know me. The only thing I'm concerned about is the hold. I'm not sure if this gel is going to give me a crunch. And also, even though my curls are pretty defined, I do have a lot of volume starting off. So I'm not quite sure. This low-key, this wash and go reminds me of the wash go I did with the Dew Foam and the Big Papa Gel, how it looked. Like, I started off with a lot of volume. The definition was okay. I don't know. I'm a little nervous. I don't think I'm going to get that crunch. And I do think I'm going to start off with a lot more volume than normal. But we're going to see. Maybe with the side part, it won't be that bad. But the definition really does eat. Like, I'm not even going to lie. The definition is eating. So now it is currently 8.30 at night. So I'm going to let my hair air dry probably till midnight. Then I'm going to sleep with it, wake up the next day, and let it dry basically all tomorrow. And I'm going to come back probably tomorrow evening, tomorrow night, and we're going to actually stretch my hair and do all that good stuff with the red air. So, yeah. I will see you guys tomorrow. Hey, guys. It is the next day. It's literally seven o'clock so my hair has been air drying for about 24 hours i slept with it last night with my scarf and bonnet worked out this morning just with it down and i've just been letting it air dry all day by the way i hate wearing strapless tops on camera because if i do this it's like it looks like i ain't got nothing on by the way what is up with the comments of people saying that they think it's weird that i'm wearing clothes in the shower while i'm washing my hair Baby, this ain't only fans. Like, I don't know what you're trying to see, but I will continue to wear my swimsuit or my sports bra. That's really creepy. Okay, anyways, back on track. So, as you can see, my hair has definitely shrunk up a lot. Like, the back of my hair is still honestly pretty damp. I would say my hair is about 70% dry. The outside is dry, but the inside is still pretty damp. I am noticing that it does have a crunch, which... I like not as hard of a crunch as the gel that I used last week the one I'm working on for my hair care line not as much crunch as that I don't hate it but I don't love it I don't think I have enough definition personally my hair is a little too poofy and I just think it's just because that gel is not meant to have a super strong like defining locking hold like for example um the was the wet line gel right but i'm not i'm really not mad at the definition i'm not i just have seen my hair be more defined so that's why i'm saying that but it's honestly not that bad and i definitely feel like when i stretch it it will look a lot better and i won't mind the definition i'm, I'm just concerned because i'm not sure how long this is gonna last because of the level of definition that i have that makes sense but it's, it's whatever. All right, so now we're going to stretch my hair. Since my hair is still pretty damp, I don't want to start off with a Rev Air first because I'm not sure if I use it with my hair still being damp, it will take out my texture. So I think I'm going to go in with my Dyson and just diffuse my hair until it's completely dry. That way, I guess my texture will lock in. And then I'm going to go in with the Rev Air and I'm going to, you know, stretch my hair. So, so I'm going to take my Dyson. Do the diffuser attachment. So this time I'm going to do um, low heat, medium airflow. Last time I did high heat and oh my goodness, it was really hot. I don't think it's necessary to do that hot. That's usually what I do whenever I actually blow dry my hair. But I think just for diffusing, it doesn't need to be that hot. So I'm going to do this. It should only take about 10 minutes. This blow dryer is really good. Y'all know this. So hopefully it will be okay. And also... I've been watching, um, if you know, you know, I've been literally watching this all day. I started yesterday when I was uh, doing my wash and go. I'm telling you, every single dude that breathes in my direction, I'm getting a background check on. Like, I, I cannot with this, bro. <laughs> Anyways, let's go ahead and just diffuse my hair.
I'm pretty sure I have a couple of wet spots in there still, but I mean, that's just what happens when you have thick hair. I'm not going to stress too much about it, but most of my hair is dry. So, yeah, like I said, I think the hairstyle is really cute. I do think I have a little bit too much volume for day one hair. I'm not sure how that's going to work. I like my hair to be a little bit more flatter and defined for the first day. That way it can last longer, but... It's, it's, it's cute. Like, it's really cute. Like, I actually really like my hair. Um, I just would prefer a little bit more definition, a little less volume. But I have my Rev Air set up here. If you want to see my initial review on this product, it's on my channel. You can go check it out. This is the new version. So I have a video of the old version. I have a video of the new version. I'll make sure both those are, like, linked in this video. So we're going to be trying the new version. I gave my old one away because I just didn't like it. But like I said, I've never used the Rev Air to genuinely stretch my hair. I've always used it just to do a blow dry, and I haven't been a fan of it. So I feel like I might like it better to just stretch my hair. So I think I'm going to do, I, I'm pretty sure this is the heat. So I'm going to go to the one heat. And then on the side of here, we have the numbers. It goes all the way up to eight, I believe. I think I'm going to do, that's like the airflow, how much of the airflow you get. So I think I'm going to start like middle maybe. It's like a four. Okay. I took two seconds. I had to change my shirt. I just, I just felt super weird. But anyways, let's go ahead and just split my hair. I just hope this doesn't cause frizz. I really do. Again, my hair is not as... I should have just used some wet lime and then the, the Miche mousse. That would have been a really good combo. I really like that combo. All right. Let's see how we can do this. All right. This is still a little bit wet, but I don't care. Let's start with, I don't know how big the section should be, huh? That should be okay, right? Let's start with that much and see what happens. Like this whole section, like right here, right here is still damp. Ah, they care problems. Let's give it a shot. I missed the piece. I have it for 30 seconds. So, really it's going to be 40 because it took me like 10 seconds to put that timer on there, but it should be okay. Alright. Okay. Um, okay. <laughs> My hair is still a little damp up here. It didn't dry it completely, but the girl, the curls are stretched. Okay. Let's keep this going, shall we? Okay, y'all, uh, I'm halfway through. I just want to show y'all the difference <laughs> in this, which is kind of crazy. Like, my shrinkage really be so disrespectful. Like, oh my goodness. But y'all can see, like, it's like two different heads of hair. You got this side, and then you got this side. Like, what is this? All right, anyways, let's finish the next half, and then we'll wrap things up. He knows that if I ever see him, I'm gonna look bad. And I'm laughing because I'm. Okay, guys. So. 
but my hair is uneven this side stretched a little bit more than this side so i think i'm just gonna go back through on this side and try to see if i can get the length to even out because if not that's gonna be pretty awkward but I just know the left side of my hair is just easier to manage because the, the curl pattern is different. So I, I'm not surprised if this happened. I'm not going to blame the red hair. But um, yeah, so let, just give me a second and then we'll be back. All right, guys. Well, this is the final look. Um, Not going to lie, it eats. This is what my hair should be looking like whenever it shrinks up based on how long it is. But that is not the case with shrinkage. But it eats. Like, my hair... It's still super defined, which I'm happy about. Like, look at that. The curls are still individually defined. The side part is eating the girls up, okay? Let me get y'all a back view. Well, here's a side view. Like, y'all, just look how much length that is. Okay, so I did have, like I said, I went back and did the right side again, but the left side did shrink up a little bit, so I think that it evened out itself on its own. Also, I didn't go back over and do the front because with the side part, I honestly probably shouldn't have stretched the side that much. I would have liked it if I could keep it like probably up here, but it's still cute. It still has like the little bang action. So, final thoughts. This might be part of the staple. I think I might like the Rev Air now. I guess it was just knowing how to use it for my hair. So doing a regular blow dry with this, no. But just stretching my hair, this was really quick. It's honestly only been 20 minutes and that's only because I had to go back over the right side. I was using a higher heat on the left side because my hair was still wet to just completely dry. My hair was more dry on the right and I think that's what made it a little bit longer. So I had to go back. So if I didn't do that, it'd probably take me probably 10 to 15 minutes. This was very quick. It was very fast, very easy, and my hair is really stretched. It only took like 30 seconds on each section. Like I'm telling y'all, it was super simple. I don't know, like I really like it. I really like it. I am a little bit, uh, because my curl pattern is a little bit too stretched for me. I really wish I was able to keep more like curliness in my hair, but that's okay. I think next time I'll only stretch it probably to like right here. So I'm gonna do the suction. I had the suction on four. I'll probably go down to like a two on the suction and then just stick to the um low heat for the all the hair. But I think for the first time, this was really good. I'm really excited to play around with this. And I really wanna try this on a super, super defined wash and go and see how it looks. Cause like I said, this wash and go wasn't super defined. And if I didn't stretch it, I wouldn't have been like a huge fan of it. But with the stretchness, the hair is eating the girls up for sure. And I'm excited to see how this looks for the rest of the week because I don't know if it's going to last. I don't know. This might be my new staple. Like, for I personally feel like this makes me feel like my hair is waist length now. I, I cannot believe I've just been like sleeping on wash and goes for the longest. There's just so much you can do with them. And it's just, it's just nice to see this is my hair. Like, there's no weave. There's no wig. There's no extensions. This is my hair. And this is crazy. Like, I've literally seen clip-ins make girls hair look like this and this is my own hair and i've been sleeping on it so that sucks for me but it's okay because now that i know we're gonna make it work and i'm loving the side part i'm definitely gonna keep the side part because i'm just excited like this has really changed the game for me but I'm, I'm really honestly i think next week i'm gonna do like the wet line gel with the Mish beauty mousse just to see how this will work on a super defined wash and go. I know y'all want me to try the Camille Rose Curl Maker and the Uncle Funky's Daughter. I have all those in my cabinet. I bought them. So, I don't know. We'll see. But we have we have all the time in the world to experiment. I'm really excited. I'm not ready to start doing twist outs yet. I really want to like... I feel like I'm so close to getting my perfect wash and go. So, we're just going to see how it is. Alright y'all. Well, that is it for this video. I hope you enjoy. If you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Click the subscribe button, put your notifications on so you don't miss any uploads. Follow me on TikTok and Instagram for daily content and check out my hair care line if you're interested in getting a product to help promote growth. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye! Beautiful painter.